On October 9, 2020, Jamie Faith, an American Airlines manager, who was gunned down outside of his Dallas, Texas house. Jamie Faith and his wife Jennifer Faith was out on a morning walk and also walking their dog named Maggie. This was something that they did on a regular basis however today was going to be different. The difference was on this day he was walking to his death, unaware about the events that would take place on that tragic morning. His death had been orchestrated from his puppet master wife Jennifer Faith. She arranged for her boyfriend to fatally shoot her husband by using fake emails to make him think she was being abused. Jennifer admitted to arranging her boyfriend to fatally shoot her husband in 2020. She was sentenced to life in federal prison. Before Jennifer Faith was sentenced to life in prison at her trial judge Jane J. Boyle called her pure evil. As we continue this story you will see how evil Jennifer is. On this tragic morning their front door security camera outside of their house captured a picture of Jamie and his wife walking outside right before a person with a mask on shot Jamie seven times. Jamie was shot three times in the chest, three times in the head and he was also shot once in his groin. Jamie was pronounced dead when paramedics arrived however Jennifer lied and told investigators that she was also duct taped and attacked by the same person that shot her husband. The people in their neighborhood was shocked that someone was shot in broad daylight. Their neighbor Melinda Mendoza said she heard the woman screaming hysterically like she was screaming for her life. She rushed to call the police telling the operator to hurry up and come because she think her neighbor had just got shot. Jennifer Faith requested the public's help to catch the person responsible for this crime. She did a TV interview and begged the person responsible for the fatal shooting of her husband to come forward like she didn't already know who it was that did it. In the interview Jennifer said, I just hope that at some point, maybe, this person can recognize the gravity of what they've done and feel some sort of guilt enough to come forward. The people who lived in the area of Oak Cliff was still in shock about what had just happened to Jamie Faith. Dallas police detectives began going house to house to find out if anyone had seen or heard anything. They also started looking for a black mission truck that was reported by a neighbor. The black truck was seen leaving the crime scene. Surveillance cameras captured the shooter's vehicle driving by. The truck investigators was looking for was a black Nissan truck with a T-sticker on the back window of the driver's side although the cameras did not show the tag number. For the people who knew Jamie Faith, their big question was who would do something like this to Jamie Faith and why would they do this to Jamie because his family and friends all knew him as a loving and fun person to be around, Jennifer told the cops that the shooter was wearing a blue mask. Jamie and Jennifer got married in Las Vegas in 2012. Jennifer had a daughter from her first marriage that Jamie was loving towards and eventually he legally adopted her. In 2017 their family relocated from Arizona to the Dallas neighborhood where Jamie lost his life and the good times ended in gunfire on that tragic October morning. It was also the day after they celebrated their 15th anniversary of their first date. Surprised by what they learned transpired. From their perspective Jamie and Jennifer were inseparable, got along and has a lot in common. While Jennifer was pretending to mourn, she kept pressing the public for more information even though she already knew what happened. I would greatly appreciate it if you can give this video a like. Next we're going to talk about the GoFundMe account that was set up right after Jamie's death. The GoFundMe page was set up for Jennifer and her daughter by their neighbor Jennifer Svelin to provide financial support for them after losing their husband and father. The GoFundMe account was able to reach over $60,000. Jennifer Svelin told 48 Hours it was shocking to see how much people were contributing and donated. But you won't believe what Jennifer did with the money that people from their community and family donated. According to court documents, Jennifer used the GoFundMe money to give her boyfriend gifts and pay off his credit cards. She purchased her boyfriend a big screen TV and airline tickets. In two months, Jennifer withdrew $58,000 from the GoFundMe account but she left her husband Jamie's funeral bill unpaid. The money was also used to pay for her credit cards although GoFundMe offered refunds to donators. Suspicious text messages was discovered by investigators indicating that they was getting close to finding out who fatally shot Jamie. After looking at Jennifer's phone, investigators discovered she was having an emotional affair. Yes she was cheating on her husband Jamie with Army veteran Darren Lopez, 
who was her high school sweetheart. The investigators realized that they had been in contact with each other at least a thousand times since they reconnected back in March 2020 from phone records. Jennifer texted a friend multiple times and said so I have no idea when I am going to be able to talk to you over the phone but I'm pretty much having a full-blown emotional affair and Jamie knows it. This guy I dated in high school and college, we broke up because I was finishing school and after he got out of basic training he was deployed to South Korea. He ended up going special forces and served 26 years. Just retired and found me. We were going to get married at the time. The investigators was tracking Lopez's financial records and they also conducted surveillance of his house. They found a black truck with a T on it that matched the description of the suspect's car parked on his property in Tennessee. On January 11, 2021, they arrested him where he resided in Tennessee. The investigators searched one of his cars and found the murder weapon, credit cards in Jennifer Faith's name, and the mask matching the description that Jennifer told investigators she had remembered seeing on the shooter. The investigators working on this case discovered an elaborate plot. They found emails from Jennifer to Darren. She was pretending to be her husband and an old co-worker that was saying she was being hit by her husband Jamie. The fake emails that Jennifer was showing Darren provoked him to kill Jamie because he felt like he needed to protect her. Jennifer used fake pictures in the emails showing fake injuries to convince her boyfriend to believe her. Everyone would soon learn that Jennifer was a master manipulator and she manipulated her boyfriend. She admitted to knowing that her boyfriend was a veteran and suffered from a traumatic brain injury while he was serving in Iraq that left him disabled using that to her advantage. Darren drove 650 miles to the Faith's house and got there at 2.19 a.m. and he parked in the backyard of a vacant house that was next door to the Faith's house. Jennifer and Jamie walked outside at 7.33 a.m. and a minute later Darren fatally shot Jamie. Jennifer Faith was obsessed with Darren Lopez. After he was charged and jailed for fatally shooting Jamie Faith she still kept in contact with him. Even going as far as using a third party to say please tell him ASAP I will always be his. Darren Lopez told investigators that Jennifer asked him to help her get rid of her husband. Next he told them that he drove from Tennessee to Texas so he can shoot Jamie Faith. He also told investigators that he shot Jamie in the groin because of the lies that Jennifer was telling him. Although he cooperated with the investigators he pleaded not guilty because Jennifer took advantage of him and his disability. Jennifer Faith was arrested on February 24, 2021, for obstruction of justice. She was charged with murder for hire and Jamie's friend Ross Jensen told 48 Hours that's what she'd been waiting for. She also said that is the right charge for Jennifer Faith. Jennifer pleaded guilty on February 7, 2022, for the role she played in her husband's death. She was sentenced to life in prison instead of getting the death penalty. Jennifer's old neighbors Melissa Gonzalez and Shimona Jackson said that Faith fooled them and they felt betrayed, you don't want to let yourself believe that someone you care about could do something like that. So, for me, yeah, it took a while to get to the point of believing, Gonzalez told 48 Hours during an interview. Darren is currently waiting to go to trial at the Dallas County Jail. Darren dated Jamie Faith's wife Jennifer and he was her high school sweetheart at Salpamite Catholic High School. They dated in college and wanted to get married, but they broke up when Jennifer was about to graduate from college. During this time Darren was also in the Army and preparing to be deployed to South Korea. Darren worked for the Special Forces in the Army. He spent 26 years working as a medical sergeant. When Darren was in Iraq, he became disabled from a traumatic brain injury. Once Darren retired he relocated to Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee. Darren found Jennifer and got in touch with her while she was still married, living in Oak Cliff, Dallas County, with her husband. They rekindled on an emotional level and planned their future together. Jennifer said her husband Jamie knew about their secret affair. Darren is facing life in prison. 